Hi, I'm D. Bethel, creator, writer, and artist of Long John at longjohncomic.com. Here with another video of me inking quickly. And here we have a page from the very end of chapter four, upcoming. So this is, um, this book is now drawn. I'm still inking the last couple pages, obviously. And uh, this page is, yeah, I think about three pages from the end. So I've covered up some panels on here because it gets into some heavy plot stuff and I didn't want to spoil it for anybody. Even if it is just a cool image I'm hiding, I'd rather you be surprised by it when you see, when it actually drops online or in the book and um, rather than having it be spoiled here. But um, I'm highlighting this, these two panels that I'm inking because they are kind of at the crux of what this chapter is about. It is kind of a standalone chapter. It is a, uh, a chapter about Long John kind of growing as a character and dealing with what he's been through over the last, at this point, four chapters. Uh, and I also like these panels because they highlight something I like to do a lot, something that I kind of call keyframe panels, borrowing terminology from animation, where they are kind of, they're not animated panels, but they're they're drawn using the principles of, of animation, meaning that one directly follows another without changing the shot, uh, the composition. Uh, and it, the, the differences between them are minor, highlighting an action, a movement, and behavior. And I've done this, honestly, a lot throughout, uh, throughout all my comicking, but specifically in Long John. My favorite example is in Chapter 2, where, I, where we see in four panels... Without any background, Long John running out of a house to chase down Johnny Mono. His hat flies off his head. And he turns around mid-run to stop and pick up his hat. And what I like about it is that doing this kind of panel work, although I don't think an entire comic should necessarily be done like this, except for maybe as a one-off. But what I, why I like doing it in a comic is that it really does show the power of the comic creator. Because it, really, it shows how much you can control how someone reads a page. It's even though it's it's kind of you know has, has an animation quality to it. What you're actually doing is slowing people down instead of speeding them up because you're forcing them to focus on specific actions. That's why I'm borrowing the term keyframe panels because keyframes in animation are like what the main animator draws, where like these are the main poses that the that the character should hit during this animated sequence, and um, usually what they call in between animators go in and, and and draw all the frames that happen in between those those major frames. Uh, but the, the keyframes are meant to be kind of like, here's one extreme to the other. And um, unlike animation where you draw everything that happens in between these two panels, for example, comics allow you just to post those keyframes and really have that emotion hit home, which is an incredibly powerful tool. <laughs> Long John has, has been a... Uh, an exercise in sort of relearning, in a sense, uh, how to draw eyes. Not that I ever forgot, but for years, especially with my previous comic and now, and through a lot of the pages of Long John, uh, John uh, Long John's eyes are hidden, and in the characters, the main characters in the previous comic, Ebon 07, their eyes were hidden as well. One behind glasses, one under a hat. And for this chapter, being such an important emotional journey, I hate saying that word, for Long John, I did want to really... Um, emphasize the emotional impact that he has. Now, the, I think the benefit I've, I've had from drawing or hiding eyes over these last 12 years is that I've gotten pretty strong at body language, drawing body language and, and emoting through hands and body posture and facial drawing. But uh, it kind of it kind of can become a crutch. And so I started taking Long John's hat off more, especially in this ch chapter, like I said, where he becomes pretty vulnerable and um, his eyes are just probably the easiest and not the easiest, but definitely the most powerful way to express vulnerability and um, doubt and fear uh, in, in combination with body language and, and, you know, the expression on the face itself. So it's been a lot of fun exercising those muscles again, really finding the ways to use the eyes to add to the, the vocabulary of making this comic. What's interesting about this chapter is that I drew the first p 
page last. I did something similar with chapter three. It, it wasn't as close to the end as this one was, but literally the last page I drew for chapter four was the first page. Now, I don't normally do that. I draw pages sequentially. Um, however, on the page itself, I do jump between panels. But uh, in this case, it was mostly because, and this is also the case with the third book, is that the first page was a splash page. And I wanted to get to panel work and get the storytelling. So I kind of saved the big splash page for the end because I knew it would be kind of just doing a drawing more than, you know, drawing a page and having to draw six, you know, four to six different drawings on a single page. And so it'd be kind of like a good way to bring it down and, and kind of cool off after this journey of drawing this whole book. Um, and I really like how it's turned out. Obviously, I'm using the brush a bit more. Um, I've been watching a lot, mostly on Instagram, videos of inkers uh, and mostly people that use nib pens and brushes. Uh, the standouts for me are, I'm sorry if I say his name wrong, but Denis or Denise Rodier, who is a prolific French-Canadian inker, um, who I, I don't know his work, but he posts great inking videos on YouTube. And then there's the DC Comics inker, Sandra Hope, who does a lot of really good brush work. And uh, I would like to, maybe with my next project, maybe more in Long John, do more with brushes, but I just don't have the confidence yet. But it's fun to practice. And I guess video it and showcase it for everybody. That's about it for this video. Uh, be sure to check out longjohncomic.com for the comic, as well as updates regarding Chapter 4 in terms of announcements, reveals, release dates, that kind of stuff. And uh, until then, thanks for watching me draw. 